Next on Jonathan Bird's Blue World, Jonathan dives with sea lions in the Galapagos and heads over to the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut to learn how smart these animals really are. Hey, <laughs> good work. Hi, I'm Jonathan Bird, and welcome to my world. The Galapagos. These remote islands are one of my favorite places in the world to dive. The land ranges from desert-like and inhospitable to lush and green. And the Galapagos are famous for endemic species such as the massive land tortoise that munches on grass and leaves. And the marine iguana. Underwater, huge schools of hammerhead sharks patrol the drop-off. And a sea lion, apparently knowing that it's a protected species, sleeps peacefully just inches from my lens. The sea lions in the Galapagos are so comfortable around people that they've even taken over a few of the marinas. Good luck walking down these steps. Out on a beach, a sea lion mother sleeps peacefully while her pup nurses. Pretty soon it will be mom's turn to go feed and the pup will rest. This is a three month old pup and he's still nursing from his mother. But she's out at sea feeding right now and he's taking a nap. Even though sea lions rest on land, their true personality can only be seen underwater. So I'm gearing up for a dive near a sea lion colony to see what they think of me. I board the Zodiac with my cameraman Pierre for a short trip to Cousins Rock. I roll into the chilly water and within seconds a young sea lion buzzes me. The younger ones are the most playful. Once they figure out that I'm in the mood to play with them, the sea lions come from every direction, zooming past my camera lens, blowing bubbles, and generally making me feel like a pretty pathetic swimmer. The sea lions are lithe and flexible, able to twist and turn on a dime, bending their bodies into what seems like impossible angles. Soon I'm approached by a larger animal, an adult male sea lion. When it comes to sea lions, the adult males have control over a section of beach, a section of water, and all of the females and younger males in the area. This guy wants to know who's messing with his section of ocean and whether or not I pose a threat. I'm not sure what his strange croaking vocalizations mean, but he certainly finds my camera lens interesting. It's important that I do not do anything to challenge him, because he has big teeth and he can bite. Finally, he decides I'm not doing anything to cause concern and departs. Then the younger sea lions go back to their antics, hanging upside down and playing in a little overhang under the reef. You know, very few animals 
in the ocean will play with people. And sea lions are probably the most playful. It's so great. I mean, you get into the water and they're like puppy dogs. They just love divers. They want to play and hang out for hours. It's just great fun. My experience in the Galapagos with sea lions showed me that these animals are a lot like dogs. They're curious, playful, and seem to enjoy interaction with people. But how smart are they? I want to learn more about these aquatic puppy dogs. So I've come to the Mystic Aquarium in Connecticut to learn about sea lions from some experts. Since 1973, the Mystic Aquarium in Mystic, Connecticut has been one of the premier public aquaria in the United States. Their exhibits, both large and small, highlight underwater life from around the world. Perhaps one of their most famous exhibits is the outdoor beluga whale habitat, where sometimes it's not actually clear who is watching whom. The Mystic Sea Lion program is famous around the country for the amazing skills they have taught to their California sea lions. The Mystic Sea Lion team is going to show me how they train the animals and how smart they are. First, I meet with sea lion trainer Deborah Pazaglia. For a week, chances are that consequence is going to cause. She introduces me to the largest sea lion at Mystic, a big male named Coco. Hi, big guy. Wow. Good. This is Coco. Hi, Coco. He is 24 years old. He weighs over 700 pounds. I'm a little nervous about getting a smooch from an 800-pound sea lion, but this is my job. Ooh, fish breath. Good boy! There you go, you can stand up, you're all set. I gotta tell you what, that's a big animal. Next, I meet a smaller sea lion named Boomerang, and Deb shows me how they yes. start the training program. So this is Boomerang, he's four years old. It involves a lot of fish and a bright ball on a stick as a target to keep the animal's attention. Trusting relationship. Once we establish that, we pair that word good that I was telling you about with the fish fade out the target to actually be in a hand signal. Good. And then pretty soon it's just ta-da. Good. Well, hello. Good boy. Good. So when we train the animals, we give them lots of hand signals that gets them to do the behaviors we want them to do. Good. And we're going to let you see what it's like to be a trainer. All right. Good. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use those targets again and I'm going to Now it's my turn to try to training. Up and you're going to stand right next to him over here. Okay. We're going to back up a little bit. There you go. Here we are. That's perfect. So now when I give you the hand signal, he's going to switch his focus over to you. Okay. And that's when I'm going to have you put your fists together. Fists together. Fists right. together. Okay. <laughs> You can drop him. That and is the, the signal to burp? <laughs> Actually, you know what's funny about that? He didn't do the right behavior. That's not what he was supposed to do. Really? Not at all. Oh. Good. So I didn't reinforce him. I just let him sit there for a second. We did that LRS. OK. Remember? All right. All right. Got it. If you want to do that behavior, let's let you do that behavior. Here we go. Good. All, all right. right. Let me try this one one more time. Bark. Good. All right, here's your time to shine. Let's see how good of a trainer you are. Ready? Okay. Here with him. Hey! hey. <laughs> good work. Good. All, All right. right, he got one right. We'll give Yay. him a high five for that. Good boy. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can have you get them. Later, I head behind the scenes to learn what it takes to keep these sea lions healthy and well fed. This is Julie. Hi, Julie. Jonathan, I'd shake your hand, but ew. Inevitably, these things always seem to involve some smelly fish. 
even though we get this from restaurant distributors and it's the same fish that you would get if you went and ordered it, we want to make sure that it's really high quality and we're not feeding the animals anything that will make them sick. I meet so, trainer Jen Rigo, who happened to pull fish duty so today. Any fish that have cuts in them, like this has a... We have to thaw, sort, and inspect the fish. Potential for bacteria to get in there, and we don't want to feed that to our animals. You guys need some sharks. They love the ones with the cuts in <laughs> We make sure that there's nothing that's going to make our sea lion sick. Yeah, this one's like a board. Yep, so we're going to run him under the water and let him kind of soften up a little bit so he's got a little bit of that fish wiggle to him. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Come back. Maybe we can revive him. <laughs> I don't know if the sea lions want to work for their fish. <laughs> How, how pliable does he need to they be? They do this six times a day. Those sea lions are hungry. So we are finally done Yay. with our fish for this session. That's a lot of fish, I'm just saying. Wow. So right here, this is all the fish that the sea lions eat for one out of six sessions of the day. Wow, so you start again in two hours. <laughs> exactly. Hopefully but we'll be out of here by then. <laughs> Next, trainer Kristen Patty takes me out to the stage where I'll try one of the less glamorous jobs in the Mystic Aquarium. These go right over my shoes then. They should. These are like, Hopefully like galoshes, you know? <laughs> All right, here we go. What if my foot's too big? I don't think it's going on. Oh, they're never gonna come off. Now I wear muck boots. Oh, it's never a good sign when you gotta put on footwear like this before you get started. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. We're gonna go in the back and go on stage. Okay. We'll probably hose off some of this nice big poop right here. <laughs> All right, we're hosing some poop. All right, stand back. Stand back, crazy man with a hose. All right. And they're like, oh, don't hose that in the water with us. What are you doing? I think this one's dried on. It is, so you might have to actually scrub it off a little first. Oh, yeah. That is much more effective, I must say. Let's just say that the smell of sea lion poop is unpleasant. Not a job I want to do every day. My day at the Mystic Aquarium is a lot of fun. What did I learn? Sea lions are very smart, at least as intelligent as dogs. Some of the sea lions at the Mystic Aquarium know more than 100 commands and hand signals. But when they aren't performing in the show, they're still just fun-loving sea lions goofing around underwater to the delight of people of all ages.